Taurus, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Taurus, I've been meditating on it. <clears throat> Some pretty heavy energy, I can't even talk. Some pretty heavy energy came up. Can you hear my voice? Like, my throat check was like, eh. I've been meditating on it. <clears throat> and uh, your word that came out was advice. Which is what I do. <laughs> So let's give you that advice, Taurus. What advice does Taurus need? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. If you do want to book a private reading, go to my website gentvtarot.com that's the only way to book a reading with me i'm not going to come to you i'm not going to be up in your dms or in the comments below if i am that's not me that's somebody trying to scam you pretending to be me you have to come to my website if you want me all right taurus what advice does taurus need what advice have you got for taurus please Ace of Swords, communication. <sighs> there is some freaking heavy energy around you, Taurus. So, <clears throat> communication. This is the overall vibe here, communicating. I feel like something it sort of feels like if I don't say it it's never going to be said and I'm always going to regret it is what I'm hearing here I'm seeing that this the two of because of this this is like a, a person who's lonely a person who's who's kind of been through it been through a really tough time, been through a dark time and they, in their soul, in their heart, they've like ache and they're lonely and they want to say what they want to say to somebody important but they're holding back and I feel like that's you. What you need to know is you've, it's like you've given little bits here and there. That should be enough. That, sh that should be enough to, you know, tide them over but it's not. Tell me more. That little bit that you keep giving to them to tie them over, it's freaking toxic. That's what it is. This is your toxic behavior. Take this how it resonates. It could be the other way around. So, if, you know, sorry if it's the other way around. Or if you're a cross watcher, I do apologize. But this little bits here and there that you keep, we keep giving to this person, or they keep giving to you. It's, we've got the devil here. It's toxic. It's, it's hurting you. It's hurting them. We've got the fool in reverse. I see why you're doing that. Why are you giving little bits here and there and not all of it? Because... Because you don't want to throw yourself in with the full reverse. You, you want to you look before you leap. You want to make sure you're jumping into the right thing here. Yeah, I get it. I understand. But the little bits that you give here and there... It's not fair. It's, it's not fair on you and it's not fair on them.
telling you. It's weakening you in a way. Do you feel tired a lot? You're getting sick. Why don't you just stop holding back so much and maybe start moving towards what you know is going to make you feel better? You're cutting yourself off from what will make you feel better. And you start moving slowly towards what you know will make you happy. Maybe you won't feel so tired all the time. Maybe you won't feel so, so much anxiety all the time. You know, start being fair on yourself. You're being hard on yourself. Punishing yourself, why? What for? Because you don't really know how they're going to react if you do. You, you think that you're not good enough for this person? I've got the four of cups here. You think you're not good enough for this person? You think that, that you don't have enough to offer this person? Do you think that maybe they act like they want you now, but if they got you, they'd be like, this isn't really what I wanted. It's, it's not what I wanted at all. How do you know if you don't try and you're not being fair on yourself by not giving yourself a chance? You worry too much. That's all I can say. Near future, we've got the seven one of wands in reverse. This is about feeling overwhelmed. Tell me more about the seven of wands in reverse for the near future. That's what this book is. What do I do, is the question. What do you do, is the question. There's this sort of feeling in you, like, is it worth the energy that I would have to put into it? Would I, would I get that back? Would they... Would they be four of cups on me? Would they would they suddenly decide that that's not really what they want? What if I suddenly let this person in how I want to let them in and they break my heart? All of these things and feelings are, are like it's overwhelming for you. What are you gonna do? This isn't done. The uh, High Priestess. This isn't done. There's more to be revealed in this. You can't... We've got two cards here. Two sixes in reverse that are suggesting that you can't let this person go. And I pretty much... I don't think they can let you go either. Tell me more about them. This person's quite actually stable and... and It seems like this person's quite quite stable, secure, um, emotionally. They sort of feel like um, they've got the eight cups in reverse. They sort of feel like it's hopeless, and they're 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 walking away from it. They feel like they've waited and waited with the hangman, and. 
Squad the Queen of Wands in reverse. They sort of feel like you're there's there's somebody else in the way. So it looks like I don't know. Maybe they're not uh, if you're not in a relationship, maybe they're not aware of that. hope for just never being able to let this go that's what the best you can hope for is if you don't do something and i oh my god i feel like overwhelming like heartbreak actually right now i'm like holding on for dear freaking life here Whew. if you don't tell this person whew, how you feel you never you're never gonna let this person go we've got i've got some protection here because like, I'm really picking up on um, like uh, <laughs> you know what I'm picking up on is when you're really freaking old and you're on your deathbed and you're sort of thinking back this is that one thought that's gonna come up, up in your in your mind is I should have just told them that I cared about them I should have just said I love you I should have just done something and made a move. Like, regrets. I should have just been honest. And it's almost like you don't even know what you were holding back from in the end. And it's... <sighs> Twice you, you, you can't let this person go. and you hold on to them and how they feel is they feel like you don't think about them or care about them and there's somebody else in the way so they're they're moving on i'm going to read this outcome here this is the five of cups i'm going to take this in the extended after this so i'm going to read this now i'm going to take this in the extended after this where i'm going to ask how does this person feel about you how do they see you what are their intentions towards you what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe i'm just gonna pull like three cards to see how it would look if you kind of just went for it okay well let's have a look why is the five of cups here for the outcome the five of cups is about looking at what you've lost and not what you have to look forward to okay this is your advice mate do you want to be when you're really old on your last legs your last dying thoughts do you want those to be i wish i'd have just told them i loved them or do you want it to be, I'm glad we had a great life together. I'm just going to go over here in the corner and just be cool for a minute. I'm not going to cry. What are you so afraid of? The advice? Just be happy. Life's for the living. It looks like you're choosing unhappiness. And loneliness. And if you leave it, I don't think this person will ever know what you really felt. And I think that's gonna, I think they're always gonna wonder. So 
Have faith in your dreams. Need I say more? I think that you care deeply about this person. You're just afraid. Can't really see what you're afraid of. We're healing family issues, so... You know what I don't really see? Is that you're in a relationship, but I see that they see that you are. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I think that speaks volumes, Taurus. Volumes. Your love lyric for the day is... There's still chance for a better life. Speak now and forever hold you. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. It's like what? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I bet you trick. There's still chance for a better life. Yes, I know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch it extended, take a look at the description box below. The link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there.